Do you have any books published that were read and somebody said no? Like, um, have you had any books that were hits that maybe somebody else thought wasn't a hit? Oh, well, we could talk about that part of the process. Yeah, I did have a book. So I wrote a book, Beautiful Lies. This, mm -hmm. is, after, this is after my fourth book in my, uh, my third book in my series, my original series that started with Angel Fire. And during the third and the fourth book in that series, I wrote a book called Beautiful Eyes. Of course, that was like before I had a child and I could write a book in between my two, <laughs> my two contracted books. But like at that time, it was something that kind of was an idea that struck me really strongly and the book just kind of wrote itself. Like it was just meant to be written. And so I wrote it and I turned it into my editor and she was basically like, well, you know, this is not really what I want. I want the fourth book in the series. I was like, well, that's cool. I'll do that as well. But I did this. <laughs> So and, here you go. Right? and she was like, yeah, no, I, we just really want you to keep writing your series. Mm. And I was like, okay. So like your publisher has right of first refusal, right? Which means that they mm. have the right to reject you before everybody else rejects you. So I was like, okay, my agent, Elaine Markson, we'll go back to her. She said, you know what? It's fine. This book is special. We're going to find a place for it. So I wrote my next book for St. Martin's. And not to say anything against St. Martin's, I mean, they gave, you know, they basically made my dreams come true. They published my first book and I learned so much from my editor and all that. It just happened to be at that moment. That book wasn't right for her, it wasn't right for them. Um, but my agent did go on to sell that to Random House wow. and Beautiful Eyes was my first New York Times bestseller. Oh, that's so, amazing. Yeah. What did that feel like? It was, you know, it was great.